Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick split test comparison of two devices around the 20,000 price segment. We have the CMF Phone 2 Pro launched recently for a price starting around 18,000 rupees. And we also have the IQ Z10, which was launched uh, a month back for around 19,000 rupees. And both of these devices are really good devices around the 20,000 price segment in India. And they do have a lot of similarities, uh, but then they do also differ in the software experience and hardware as well now both the devices have uh, uh, Android 15 out of the box we have the nothing OS 3.2 on the CMF phone 2 Pro and we have uh, the fun touch OS 15 on the IQ Z10 now in terms of hardware let's just take the about device so here we can see here processor is MediaTek Dimensity 7300 Pro 5G chip 8GB RAM and here we have Snapdragon 7S Gen 3 and uh, this is 2.5GB uh, octa processor this is 12GB RAM variant and Android 15 on both the devices and uh, here we have 5000mAh battery while this is 7300mAh battery that's massive battery capacity so let's see uh, which of these uh, uh, open apps faster now the Snapdragon 7S uh, Gen 3 is slightly better than and the Dimensity uh, 7300 Pro. So let's see how improved it is. Now both those devices have UFS 2.2 storage and LPDDR of 4X RAM. So let's start, let's clear off all the background apps on both the devices. So there you go, we are cleared off. You can see the network settings, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and uh, both are in airplane mode as well. So let's just start the uh, speed test uh, comparison of these two devices. So let's start with Asphalt Unite. So let's see which opens Asphalt Unite faster. Now both have uh, the game booster mode turned on. So CMF uh, Phone uh, 2 Pro was faster here. The next is uh, BGMI. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. So uh, here again, once again see that both the devices have the game mode enabled. Now here uh, the IQ Z10 has taken the lead and opened it much faster. So next is uh, Play Store. Almost same time I would say. Chrome browser. Here I would say IQ was slightly faster. Facebook, IQ was faster. Twitter, almost same time I would say. Instagram, uh, here it was faster on CMF. Spotify, again uh, CMF was slightly faster. Amazon, again uh, CMF was slightly faster here. Flipkart, again uh, CMF was faster. File Manager, IQ was faster. Settings, IQ was faster. YouTube, again IQ was faster. Gmail, IQ was faster. Camera, X at same time. Finally, Maps. So let's see here, once again IQ is faster. So you could see both devices performed equally well, both were uh, equally fast, uh, games one each uh, for both the devices and other apps it was kind of similar experience, not much of difference. Now next let's see the memory management of these two devices, let's open the app in the uh, reverse order, let's see which all apps are retained in the memory and you can see here Gmail is already reloaded, YouTube is once again reloaded here. So it started reloading. So almost all of the apps are started reloading on uh, CMF. Uh. Also the advantage for here uh, IQ is it has 12 gigs of RAM. Now this is available on both the devices. Instagram once again available on both the devices. Twitter is once again reloaded. Facebook uh, is available. Chrome is also reloaded. And then uh, Play Store re reloaded. Here you can see here. Once again, it is reloaded on the CMF phone now. And you can see that uh, uh, IQ has retained all the apps uh, in the memory, while CMF uh, phone uh, 2 Pro uh, reloaded a lot of apps. In fact, uh, most of the apps were reloaded on the CMF phone 2 Pro. So memory management isn't that Im impressive. Uh, it's, it's having 8 gigabyte RAM variant only, but still for 8 gigabyte RAM variant, it should have been better uh, overall in terms of optimization. So that's the, um, 
at opening time next let's see the network uh, speed of these two devices so we connected both the devices to the same um, uh, server so there you go we'll start with uh, cmf phone 2 pro so speed seems to be very similar nothing much to differentiate so uh, Wi-Fi speeds are very similar. Next is the Antutu 2 benchmark. This is one area where the IQ Z10 definitely has uh, better scores. You can see a 6,66,000, 7,88,000, almost 1,20,000 difference between these two devices. You can see a Snapdragon 7S uh, Gen 3 is definitely more powerful at least in the raw benchmark. So this is uh, the uh, Antutu 2 score. Next, uh, let's also see the storage test. Now both those devices are uh, UFS uh, uh, 2.2 but you can see here uh, the random access speed uh, on uh, the nothing OS 3.0 or rather the CMF phone uh, 2 Pro is definitely impressive. Uh, you can see the difference 35,000 and 59,000 almost uh, uh, 25,000 difference so that makes a huge difference in terms of the overall score and uh, that's why you can see here even with the uh, UFS 2.2 uh, this has 93,000 while this is 62,000 only. So, but then both are UFS 2.2 uh, storage. And finally, let's see the Geekbench uh, test. Uh, we have performed the test uh, here. And you can see here, uh, once again, uh, the raw benchmarks are uh, higher on the IQ Z10 with the Snapdragon 7S Gen 3. So that's the uh, Geekbench test. So uh, overall you can see here both the devices are quite good in terms of experience but uh, both those devices lack the UFS 3.1 storage which the Oppo K3 has. That's one of the devices with uh, UFS 3.1 in this price segment. So which of these devices did you like and which is your pick? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.